Hey everyone, welcome da back to another plan with me. Um, I haven't had time to charge my camera, and it, it's this little camera I got from my mom that really doesn't have much battery time, which is kind of silly. I'm going to try investing in a good vlogging camera um, soon, maybe for Christmas, so bear with me. Um, have to use the cell phone again today. I just tried doing it, and before the intro was done, it turned off. So, yeah, so we're doing July 25th to the 31st. I can't believe it's the end of the month. Oh, my goodness. Where has the time gone? Um, so, yeah, this week's theme is going to be Paw Patrol. My son had some stickers, and then I just added, I printed up on sticker paper some larger images, because um, in the sticker book, I realized it's all small ones. Um, so, yeah, with last week, which you haven't seen, which is today's the 22nd, I just didn't have time. We ended up running back to the doctor, um, pediatrician today to double check on his, um, pit. It was okay, thank goodness, so we didn't have to go to the hospital. But if you haven't seen my video, I can link it down below. Um, my last one is a plan with me that I put up on the 18th. Um, it was that my son was in the hospital the 13th through the 15th, so you can find out all about that. So that's why it's been rough. He's home now with the pit, which is basically a big IV that has, um, it goes all the way down up his arm and into the, right next to the heart so that he can have his antibiotic at home. He doesn't have to stay at the hospital. He needed antibiotics for 14 days. I am doing it. They had a nurse train me, and I have to do it each day, um, so it's going okay. Last night it had a little blood underneath the um, dressing but and a little bruising and swelling. But we went to the Dr. P this morning and it's okay. So we're counting down the days. It should be coming out next week on the 26th. So I can't wait four more days. And then he has to wait 24 hours before he can go back in the water. So Thursday and Friday we will be celebrating with beach and going in the pool. You can probably go in the pool Wednesday night. So um, let's get on to the plan with me. Um, I grabbed these page flags I've gotten at Michael's. I think they're the nice bright colors that will match Paw Patrol to do my meal planning and any kind of banners that I need during the week. Um, I wasn't sure I had brought up my little teeth stickers from, from Dollar Tree, but I'm just thinking that's the following week he has an appointment that we had to reschedule because he was in the hospital when his initial appointment was, him and Emma. I brought up some summer stickers, some event stickers that I have. Um, we'll see as the week goes as I plan what we need stickers for. Um, I grabbed these, which was exciting. I forgot I had from Dollar Tree. Um, the bright color little paw print, and then this one here, because it has a black background with the bright color polka dots, I figured that would be cute to put down at the bottom here. Um, those are from Dollar Tree, and then I have my Dollar Tree Skinny Washi. I grabbed up a orange, a green, and a yellow. We'll see what we want to add for the weekend area, and if I need anything for down below with these, I will. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so these are the stickers. He had gotten this. My mom got him. Probably, I think it's a Target dollar spot find. Let me see. Yes, it has the label. So that was probably in the last year, and they're all little stickers. So that'll be cute to put in in little spaces, but I had printed up these to have um, bigger images. I can get it up. So I printed up the actual Paw Patrol sign, which I think I'll end up putting maybe just up here. And then I want to have something over here at the bottom. And then maybe a little bit on top of the washi like I do, or down here with YouTube. We can add these bigger prints. Um, I was going to do Marshall, which he also likes, but I grabbed these four. So that'll be what we use at later on. I printed up. I got a hold of my stickers, the weekend banner I have in like a, like an orangey color, so we'll probably use that. Got my trash can this time, like I said I have my easel but the camera died. Um, I brought up these NDNs that I printed up, so I'll probably grab those <clears throat> and maybe do it for like two of them, to have like red, maybe blue and a yellow or an orange. <clears throat> I got my weather stickers, which I had wanted to do last week, but because of the whole hospital stay, 
I just did what I could do just to get my weekly set up in the planner. So I think this week I want to put what the weather is going to be predicted. I think that's how I want to try to do it from now on. I have my checklist, which I haven't even pulled out yet, on to what colors I will use. So we'll see as we go. So as always, I start with the washi, and then I will be adding YouTube. I also want to, probably right now, I'm going to go down and get some, if I have some paw print, maybe scrapbooking paper that's not too thick. Um, and if you want to check this out, here's a tip. If you're thinking about an Erin Condren 18-month planner, this is what I had gotten, my parents got me for my birthday in June of last year. I was took all that year beginning to decide what planner I really wanted to invest in, and I decided an Erin Condren. I thought an 18-month would be good so that way I could get it for my birthday, start of July, and work all the way now until December of 2016. But because I use stickers, and I really haven't used many thick ones, a couple maybe, and that's when I realized it really is bulking up, and now I can't even shut it without the covers snapping off. Um, so basically I do leave it right on my desk and opened up to the week, but as you see now, it really is hard to, <laughs> to plan and, and, and have because it's so thick over here where in the beginning it wasn't too, too bad, but I would, I was thinking of uncoiling six months so I'd have 2015 out of here, but I kind of want to just keep it all as one because this was my first one. And I'm at the point where, um, you know, here we are the end of July. I only have five months left, and hopefully it will be okay. I mean, obviously it's going to keep getting higher and higher to my left and smaller and smaller on the right, but it's a lesson learned. Um, I'm going to be asking for the 12 month for 2017 for Christmas. I already know what I want, and um, never again will I do an 18 month from this one here. Um, maybe a happy planner would be better, but I don't think they sell them in 18 months over there. So that's my tip for today. Let's go on to washi. Okay, so here is the washi. I used the skinny green one, and which is nice. That way now I found this scrapbook paper that I had downstairs. So I've got to glue these down and put down my YouTube labels and fill in for my YouTube videos. I'll be using the page flags here. I think I'll probably use something other than the blue. Um, maybe the bright orange or the red. It's going to be colorful because Paw Patrol's got all that bright colors. Alright, so this is what we got so far. Use the red little labels, the page flags from Target. Playing with me, I'm going to probably be doing an update on Benjamin. His pic should be coming out here. So this day I'll probably record it and then upload it on Wednesday. So now let's move on to my checklist where I'm going to change the um, header to, um, I think, a green. So that way it'll incorporate the washi that I've used and the green that's in the washi. Let's do that. So, I used a light green and a dark green header, and then I decided with the dark green headers, I'd put the dark green checklist, and I didn't have any, I just have like a, more of a neon, no, was it neon green? I don't know, it was something else I didn't like, so I said, well, let's do yellow, that way it'll give it some more color. So that's what we have, so now I'm going to move on to the top, and I'm trying to decide if I should use this paper again, which I have done in the past, use the same for top and bottom. And then on top of it, I'll be able to use these for all, like, my appointments. Yeah, and a lot of these are going to go on the to-do list, and then some of it will be what we're doing in the during the day, like morning to afternoon, and then my stuff I have to do in the afternoon to evening will be over here. Um, I'm thinking for next year, I'm not going to be using checklists. This will just be a today, all the stuff we have to do, and then my YouTube. Um, I think I, I'm not too fond of a checklist over here. I think I'd rather just have more room. So I think I'm going to finish up this year using checklists since I have them, um, and I've been doing them, and then that way my new planner will look just a teeny bit different. And I like that upgrade to the new way of planning. So... I have to decide what I'm going to do for the top. So I've decided not to put the scrapbooking paper on the top. Um, 
So I started with Monday, I put the weekend banner up, and now I started with Monday. I had some leftover labels from Oh Hello Stationery Co. And um, my little scale, so I weigh myself every Monday. I try to trash night and scoop the litter. So now on to Tuesday. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Here's the meal plan. I added what we needed to do for the week with some stickers and as the week goes on I will definitely add like over here and anything else that needs to be filled in but pretty much like here I don't know yet what movie we'll be doing so I think it looks cute so that's gonna be it guys thanks for watching this plan with me I'll see you next week don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and as always, enjoy the glitter.